what's up YouTube JP here and in this video we're going to take a look at a PS5 Ultimate Controller made by Hex Gaming. So without further delay let's dive in. So first of all quick disclaimer this controller was sent by Hex Gaming free of charge for review. I'm not obligated to say anything specifically and this review is going to be my honest opinion. So I think the best place to start is over on the Hex Gaming website. Have a look at the controllers they have to offer and look at some of the features that they provide. So here we are on the Hex Gaming website and as we're looking at the PS5 controller, let's have a look at the Ultimate Controller, which is the one I've ordered. So first of all, let's have a look at some of the features. As you can see, they've got four remap buttons on the back. They've got interchangeable thumbsticks. And then of course the shoulder buttons and the triggers are hair trigger clicky. So they're like mouse click buttons. We've got some premium grip on the back. And then if we scroll a bit further down, you can make your own ultimate controller. And we'll look at that in a moment. Now you can compare the models and then you can also look at their pre-built controllers. So these are all the designs they already have. But we're not really interested in those because the whole point of this is to make it individually customizable to your own taste. So if you click here, make your own controller, you can see the options that we have. So first of all, we could make these blossom pink. I think that looks pretty cool. And then you can have the buttons you could go for something like violet on the other side. You can have them violet. Let's go for a white PlayStation button, where it's obviously got the Hex Gaming on there. Let's go for white for this. And I think you can see where this is going. We're going for like a, a violet and cherry blossom pink look. So I think this piece should go white and then this will get some more pink in there and then we could go for something like the pink and white thumbsticks and then the bottoms of them we could go for some pink ones and the R1 and L1 again we could go for some pink and the triggers I think will go for the same and then the whole back will just go for a white. And then of course those programmable buttons on the back. We go for pink for them. And then of course we go for those fast shot triggers. Which basically makes them mouse clicky buttons. Which is really handy for like your eSports. Then of course we could remove the rumbles. But... I think we're going to leave it like this. This looks absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and order it. Now, as you can see, I've got this added to my cart. We can go to checkout. And then if we scroll down to the bottom here, you can see your discount code. So if you use code ARG5, and you probably guessed five standing for 5%, if you apply this code, and as you can see, you get $10 off. Not a massive discount, but every little bit of discount you can get is going to help. So I guess the next thing we should do is unbox the controller that they sent me. Now, I customised this controller myself, so it's not a pre-made one that they had on their website. So let's take a look to see how it turned out. So this is the box that the controllers come in. As you can see, it says designed for eSports. There's not really that much information on it, but I'm so eager to dive in. Let's start unboxing it. So as you open it up, you'll see these two adapters and we'll take a look at those in a moment. So here we have the controller itself. We have some instructions. And then if we tip the box up, 
there's two of these plastic containers. And these basically hold those thumbsticks because they're interchangeable. So let's have a look at the controller itself. I'm really impressed with the way this turned out. It looks absolutely fantastic. Now the keen-eyed amongst you might notice that the shoulder buttons and triggers are not pink, they're actually violet. Because I changed my mind, I think this looks a lot better. So let's go back to those black adapter things. This is the official control pad charging dock for the PS5. And you'll notice that the controller just doesn't fit in right. So what these are for is to adapt it so the controller will sit on there. And it's just as easy as clipping them in place. Now the great part about these is you can put both of them in there so it matches and then you can put your hex gaming control pad in there to charge and then you can also put your official control pads in because they'll still fit. Just like this PS5 controller that's been customized by Extreme Rate. So next let's take a look at the thumbsticks that they sent along with the controller. So all together you get four sets and you'll get various lengths and you'll get some concaved ones, some dome shaped ones. So you can basically customize it exactly the way that you want it. So I think the way that I'm going to set it up is on the right analog stick, I'm going to have the taller one. And then on the left analog stick, I'll have the normal short one. And what this will basically do is the left stick for running around is nice and short, just like it normally is. But then on the right thumbstick, I'll have a lot more precision. We'll see how that works out when we play Battlefield. So I'm really impressed with the way this controller turned out. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So before we dive in and start testing out games with this controller, I just need to let you guys know about the new Alien Retro Gaming Patreon. So I've set up a Patreon that's just £1 and about $1 a month. And what that gives you access to is all the Switch modding videos. You'll also get Discord perks where you'll have access to hidden channels and customization. And then once a month I'll be doing a giveaway. So this is why I mentioned the Patreon. Because this Hex Gaming PS5 Pro controller is going to be given away to one of my Patreons. So basically the plan is because I get sent products for free for review, once a month I'll pick one of those products and give it away randomly to someone on the Patreon. So if you want to be an ARG Patreon, just click the link in the description below. So enough about that, let's fire up the PS5 and play some Battlefield and see how this controller feels. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not very good at first person shooters, I'd say I'm average. But if this controller can make me better, then I'm sure it will make your gaming better as well. So let's jump on over to the PS5 now and play some Battlefield. So in summary, I've really enjoyed playing with this control pad and I think the person that wins it on Patreon will get many, many hours of enjoyment from it. Now I know some people have commented on the price of these controllers saying that $200 is a lot of money for a control pad. But when you consider the fact that it's based on an original PS5 controller and then you get to completely customize it to your taste. You could have something that's completely individual and unique that nobody else has got. Each controller is hand built, 
so when you place an order they'll take an official control pad and then they'll start tearing it down and then use all the parts and the customization that you specified in your order now of course if you know me by now people of the ARG family so subscribers on YouTube and Patreon and people in the Discord server they don't pay website prices so if you click the affiliate link down below, you'll get a small discount on these controllers. And it doesn't have to be the controller for the PS5, it can be anything on the Hex Gaming website. So I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoy my content and want to support the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Retro Gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one.